I owe... I owe... I owe you everything. No, you don't. I'm sorry I couldn't save your sister. I was there. It wasn't your fault. I was paid to protect her and I didn't. Was she married into a sick family? Maybe. I... I just wanted to say thank you for giving us a chance to live. I mean, as a family. I hope it all works out for you, for all of you. Thank you. Don't be too long. Well, buddy, that's it. Where are you guys gonna go? Uh, I don't know, maybe back to New York. Uh, maybe down to Argentina. Giovanna has family in Salvador. Maybe we'll just stay there. Me, yeah, I got business to take care of. Uh, I I'm sorry I, I dragged you into this. I know, uh, I know it was very wrong. It's all right, it's done. And hey, I'm having myself a fun old time. Maybe this is how things had to be. Figure I might as well die in the sunshine as die in the snow. Look, I'm sorry I'm leaving. I, I got a kid coming, you know? you know how it is. I know how that is. You know, I, I almost didn't say goodbye to you. I said to myself, maybe this guy will put a bullet in me. <laughs> Maybe I will, but not right now. Thank you. Try to look after yourself, Max, huh? Life is worth living. <laughs> if you say so, pal. I thought I was going to have to witness another murder. <laughs> nah, not him. You ready? I guess. Okay. I've uh, looked through this information you gathered. And it's not very nice. What is it? It's the Ufe. The famous Mr. Becker. Friend of Victor Bronco. <laughs> yes. And a contributor to his campaigns. A government employee, of course. And? A weapons dealer. A murderer. This was known. A dealer in human organs. This wasn't known. A proper gentleman. Mm, sure. So you're gonna bring him down? <laughs> yes, because I want to lose my wife and my children and then get killed myself. All that after watching him walk free. Tell me what has to be done. Well, officially, there's uh, nothing I can do. And unofficially? Well, we can always try something a little more creative. De Silva had promised me a 10 o'clock showcase. I had to make sure I was on stage and ready for my close-up. Diga a Becker. Kevin Paraelli. Convidado nosso. Quebra esse otário aí. Deixa comigo, me dá uma lição nele. <risos> então, o pai dela não diz. Filha da puta! Você é que você é que você vai te acontecer, cara? Tá pensando o quê? Ah, onde é que você vem? Ah, fica aí, cara. Ah, Meu! Se fudeu, filha da puta! Ô, 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 segura a porta aí! Eu vi uma outra versão. Vamos resolver aquela parada lá, hein? Demorou. Hey, what are you doing? 
doing here? Huh? I ask you a question. Answer him. Answer him. What Answer. are you doing? What? What are you doing here? 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 I, I don't understand. I can't hear you. What are you, what doing, are you here? doing here? You me in the ear. Hey, answer me. What are you doing here? Back in the precinct after all this time. Time to find out what the hell was going on. I knew nothing resembling good times lay beyond that gate, but I was going to have to face the music sooner or later. They had their body armor, I had mine. I guess our little stunt helped some other civic-minded people raise valid concerns about community relations. Their faces said it all. I was on their side, but how could they know that? If they came through that door, I'd be leaving as a human shield and never leaving at all. Luckily for me, for once, the police arrived just in time. It sounded like all hell was breaking loose. Whatever nonsense De Silva had pulled, it seemed to be working. Last few prisoners were trapped in here, and more presently, seemed I was too.
security switch had to be in that booth. It was Monday's arrest log, as far as I could tell. And no sign of anybody from Nova Esperanza. All those poor bastards have been checked straight into the Imperial Palace Hotel. Kid had had the right idea. There was no point bouncing bullets off that thing. I decided I'd try to pick up where he left off. And then immediately regretted that decision. 